Saudi Arabia is the world's second largest exporter of crude oil. Nearly 10 million barrels of oil are produced in the kingdom every day. But six months of falling prices have dented the profit margins. At an OPEC meeting in Abu Dhabi on Sunday, Saudi Arabia blamed non-OPEC countries for the fall. It said it will not cut its production levels if others do not do so first. We do not know what can happen in the future, but what we know for sure is that those who have the most and best production will control the market. But this decision could hurt other members of OPEC. Countries like Venezuela need to sell their oil at $118 per barrel in order to balance the budget. The current price is fluctuating around $60 a barrel. We are not at a disaster. This happened before. This happened before. We're just at a short term of oversupply. This oversupply will be fixed because the market is strong. Some analysts say another factor in the volatility of prices is the rise of shale gas. What's clear is that there's increasing concern in the Gulf about the rising levels of US output from shale gas and concern that they will increasingly lose market share and the United States will become uh, oil independent. Shale gas currently represents around a quarter of US gas production. But such is the demand, that figure is expected to double in the next 20 years. Leading OPEC members from the Gulf say they will ride out this current storm in oil prices. But as things stand, that could cost them around $350 billion a year. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.